It's December 25th, it's bitterly cold and I'm going back to reviewing my catfish reels. However, I already finished reviews on all of these. The two ambassadors and the Abu catfish special. The two Daiwara Yoga Bay Jigging. The Bass Pro Cat Max. The Daiwara Yoga Shrapnel. And the two Shimano Cardiffs. If you're interested in any of these reels, please uh, check my reviews before buying. If you think that round reels are unnecessarily big and heavy, uh, stay tuned because I have some excellent low profile choices for you. Enters Daiwa Lexa CC 300 PWRL P. Let's take a quick look before we get deeper. I think it has pretty cool design if you're a fan of this color, which I'm not. And if you're wondering why the white color braid, these are paired with my white ugly stick striper rods. So it had to match. Okay. Okay, so let's go through the specs on the box real quick. First of all, carefully note the exact model on the box. Lexa has at least a dozen different models just for the 300 size rail alone. And this is the only model that is suited for catfishing in my opinion and I'll tell you why starting from the CC that designates that the reel has clicker that's the only Lexer that has a clicker then you have PWR that stands for power and designates the 5.5 to 1 gear ratio all of the other gear ratios are higher and not suitable for catfish or bottom fishing in particular L is for left hand, don't get me started on that. And P means it has the power handle, okay, versus the small handles on all of the other models. So if you look for this reel after my review, look very careful for this model. So let's go through the features real quick. Starting from top, you have the usual 6-pin centrifugal brakes. Now this feature is really important in my opinion. You have aluminum frame and aluminum side plate. The side plate is also very important and I'll show you later why. Next, you have tournament drag. I'll show you the drag as well. For now, just trust me that it's really good. Corrosion resistant ball bearings, I'll show you those as well. I'll show you what makes them corrosion resistant. Infinite anti-reverse, that's really not a feature, I don't know why they put it here. Dual stopper, also not a feature. They just put everything these days. Spool click selector, that's just your clicker. All catfish reels have it, but not but very few low profile reels have it. Actually, I don't know any other low profile reel that has it. So that's not a special feature on a round reel, but on a low profile reel, there is kind of a special feature. Balanced aluminum handle with tin up. Handle is amazing. And uh, you have nine bearings on this reel. Now, I looked on the schematic and I couldn't find nine bearings. Okay, so I found only seven. But uh, I found only seven. I don't know where the other two are. 
maybe over here on the knob it looks like a ball bearing knob but it would have to have two here instead of one that would be the only place where it's not in the schematic and I couldn't find it when I disassembled the reel but anyway I trust that Daiwa wouldn't lie about it so quite a few bearings for a reel of this uh, price uh, caliber this reel is about uh, 200 dollars depending on where you get it so yeah unless you get a casking you don't get that many bearings in a 200 dollar reel okay so if you watched my other reviews you know the usual components that i go through and i will go through all of the same components but i'll change the order a little bit I will leave the gears, the drag washers and the bearings for the end because I want to open the reel and show you the actual stuff. Okay, so let's talk about the frame. We already saw in the box that this is a one piece aluminum frame of good thickness. The rigidity is absolutely perfect and the side plate is also aluminum and it's also thick the other thing is look at the real seat it is one piece with the aluminum frame so this is uh, what they call a true one piece aluminum frame and this is pretty amazing for a 200 dollar reel and let me show you why The shrapnel is a $500 or even $600 MSRP reel. It has a one piece aluminum frame too. Very thick. But look at the reel seat. It's attached with four screws to the frame of the reel. So this potentially can cause the reel seat to wiggle if you use the reel long enough. And the other thing is from aesthetics point of view this sticks out as a different color while this real seat is painted the same color as the frame and it's practically invisible so yeah this $200 reel through one piece aluminum frame the expensive Ryoga the real seat is attached to the frame Look at this amazing handle. Oversized, bent inward so it doesn't stick out too much. Balanced. The knob is on a ball bearing. And the shape is perfect for a power grip. Your fingers will immediately find the perfect grip the first time you touch the reel. Now in my previous reviews about the uh, Abu reels, this one and the Catfish Special, which shares the same handle, only different color, I said that this is the best Catfish handle in business, but actually I forgot to consider this one. This handle is great, it's oversized, it's swept in, it's balanced, it's got a good size knob, but the knob is on a bushing instead of a bearing and the shape of the knob strangely after three years of fishing my fingers still don't know the perfect grip for this knob so yeah this is the best handle in uh, catfish reel world next let's talk about the star drag check this out clicking Nice, nice. Not as precise and not as micro as the Ryogas over there, but pretty cool. I like it. Cool sound and long range of adjustment. Very long range of adjustment. You have maybe three full turns of adjusting the drag on this reel. And I will show you the washers later, but Let's say the drag leaves nothing to be desired, okay? Next is the spool tension knob. 
it doesn't click when you spin it but it is super super tight now clicking prevents the knob from falling off but if it's that tight you're basically guaranteed that it will remain in the position you set it up so yeah I have no issues with this particular spool tension knob thumbs up next is the clutch the clutch has the right amount of travel it has this non-slip surface here which is a cool detail on a $200 reel it is very crisp on the way up but it's a little bit mushy on the way down nothing wrong with it but it is a little bit mushy reminds me of the abu clutches the clicker first of all check the sound really loud as it should be this will wake you up if you're napping on the boat moving it back and forth yeah I use my nail but it's kind of smooth and not a problem I really won't hold it uh, against Daiwa I don't have any issues with this clicker uh, it's yeah it you have to kind of use your nail but it's smooth enough that it's really not an issue and it's also easy to find I guess you can kind of see that why they couldn't place it on top uh, they, they couldn't place it on top like on the avus here so I would say the clicker is very good to excellent no I have no issues with the clicker on this reel I think that's all there is on the outside I think it's a cool design let's look on the inside now let's look at the gears look at the size of this main gear this is enormous for comparison the gears on this much bigger and heavier Shimano are significantly smaller than on this 300 size low profile reel this is amazing gear for a reel of this size and a reel of this weight so I'm very I I didn't even expect it to be honest I mean yeah it looked big when you just hold when you just grab and hold the reel but when you open it and this thing comes in your face it is just outrageous so now that I've seen this I have the confidence to fight some pretty good sized catfish with this little reel but enough about the gear because some more amazing stuff to show here which is the drag system look at the size of these carbon washers okay nothing plastic nothing paper like the ones on the Cardiff no felt this is the best drag system that I've seen in person in all honesty these reels have almost as good drag they have the same quality of carbon and they have three carbon washers no plastic no paper no felt but the size okay the size is just outrageous one thing I noticed all of the drag washers were completely dry when I disassembled the reel so I will be putting some of the trusted cows grease on them when I put it back 
look at the washers when I cleaned everything and look at the carbon washers when they're properly greased do you think that's gonna feel better? I think so and look at the edges of the main gear yeah baby that's how you protect the good gear here is your usual 6-pin centrifugal brake nothing to talk about here these are in everything you open of any price range really and so far everything has been perfect in this reel, hasn't it? So let's try to find some things that could have been improved. Now, this gear and this gear turn the level wind on the reel. Now notice that this guy is metal, but the larger gear is plastic okay I don't know why they did that but this is the reason for a very annoying and cheap sounding noise on this reel okay let me see if I can demonstrate to you can you hear this this noise doesn't come from the level wind and it doesn't come from these awesome gears okay this noise comes from the fact that this metal part doesn't fit very well with the plastic part and the two gears they just don't feel smooth and make a noise when they make contact what else can be improved do you see this white thing here that's a bushing okay that's where that's where the spool goes okay now there's nothing wrong with having a bushing here if the reel didn't have nine freaking bearings but on a point where the spool is suspended you leave a bushing I don't understand that but I will be replacing this uh, bushing with a bearing pretty soon first project in the summer probably and uh, looking for more flaws this is not really a flaw but I'm just nitpicking here I don't know if you can see but there is a little bit of free play in the handle and the anti-reverse bearing here the rock solid Shimano has has a little bit of replay here the $200 Abu has a little bit of replay here the Abu has the exact same amount as the Daiwa the Cardiff has a little bit more but if you think that it is normal and unavoidable to have some free play here think again that's why these reels cost so much money people just look at the bearings and they say I don't see why the extra money you know I can get the same number of bearings on my Bass Pro Shop reel absolutely zero absolutely zero absolutely zero free play of any kind in the handle it, it feels like I don't know like some military equipment nothing moves at all and it's perfectly smooth and perfectly quiet even the smaller even the smaller sibling 
over here absolutely zero free play now let's do a summary of the pros and cons and leave a few final words let's start with the pros amazing handle the best catfish reel handle that I have seen amazing drag oversized carbon washers no need to replace anything here long range of adjustment for the drag clicking star drag very tight spool tension knob true one piece aluminum frame oversized gears great clicker this little screw here when you unscrew it it doesn't actually come out but has a retainer so it stays on the side plate nine ball bearings two of them are corrosion resistant on paper this reel has everything that's required to be the best low profile catfish reel on the market but what are my issues with the reel First of all, the line guide mechanism here is metal to plastic and it makes a very annoying noise all the time that quite frankly is unacceptable for a $200 reel. Next, for some reason, forgetting about the noise, the reel doesn't feel as smooth as even the hundred dollar Cardiff it doesn't feel as smooth okay, I feel a little bit of grinding coming from somewhere I don't know if it's the line guide or the gears are not that well cut but it doesn't feel that smooth now these two issues combined the annoying noise and the subpar smoothness of the reel make it feel a little bit cheap. Frankly, a reel that looks that good has such a rigid frame and that many bearings, nine bearings. Before I touch this reel, my expectations are for this reel to be super tight. I mean, Ryoga tight. But it's not. It's not as smooth, it's kind of loud, and there is a tiny free play somewhere. Maybe the, maybe the line guide, maybe the handle. I can't tell where, but there is a tiny bit of free play somewhere, in, somewhere in this reel that just create a user experience that is probably on par with a $100 reel and not a $200 reel. So do I recommend this reel at this price? Frankly, I want to ask you what kind of uh, attention to detail do you have? Are you really picky about little noises? Do you always notice the smallest imperfections? If you are this kind of person, which I am, I don't recommend this reel. It will bother you. It doesn't feel smooth, tight, quiet and expensive. It doesn't. But if you are someone who always prefers utility and functionality and is not really picky, then frankly this reel is a bargain even at $200. Where are you going to get such a sturdy frame? nine bearings this handle oversized gears oversized drag uh that's a that's a pretty impressive package for 200 bucks but there is a reason why this is a mid-range reel and not a top end reel so i think that's all i have on this reel i hope my review helps somebody with their buying decision if so give me a thumbs up and uh, please check my giveaways.